All right, guys, so I'm recording this on April 11th, three days before the official announcement of the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. And, you know, we pretty much know everything that's gonna be announced. They're gonna add a 120 hertz screen to the OnePlus 8 Pro. They're adding, finally adding wireless charging, fast wireless charging too. They're adding 30 watt fast wireless charging, which is ridiculously fast. Nobody else matches that, so that's awesome to see. And then they're adding IP water rating, official IP water rating, something they've been missing on their phones forever thus making the OnePlus 8 officially flagship level phone. So that is all fantastic and I can't wait for it. But there's one thing that they refuse to do that would actually make me want to really buy a OnePlus phone this year. Let's talk about it. What is going on everyone, Matesh here. And you know, I love my OnePlus 6T. I'm back on it currently. And I gotta tell you guys, this phone is just fantastic. It is so fast, even a year and a half later. And that makes me really want a OnePlus device. But there's one thing that I really dislike about this phone and dislike about all other OnePlus phones. And that is the fact that they are huge phones. OnePlus refuses to go back to making small phones. So for example, this phone right here is a 6.4 inch display. That's really big. This size of a phone, plus with the case that of course I'm gonna put on it, that I think more than 90% of you are probably gonna use it inside of a case, just makes the phone feel really, really big in the hands. And I'm just not a big fan of that. Maybe it's just because I have smaller hands, but I just want a smaller phone and OnePlus refuses to make it. So this is the one thing that I think OnePlus could do to really improve their sales. Well, not necessarily improve their sales. Their sales are fine, but I think this is the one thing that they could really do to match other flagships like the iPhone and the Pixel line is just make a smaller phone. Like give us more than one option. Give us just a slightly smaller phone than the OnePlus 8 Pro that packs all the same specs except for a smaller screen and a smaller battery. Like if they did that, I think it would be fantastic. People who want smaller phones, but you know, want to try out OnePlus' style, they could actually go out and get it. Or even people who want to spend a little bit less than OnePlus' asking price of what's creeping up to like almost a thousand dollars now. Like they could just have a phone that's $900, that's just smaller screen. I think more people will buy the smaller screen phone than buy the bigger screen phone if they had the option. But OnePlus just refuses to give us that option. All the while they give us, like they make four models a year now. They make the 8, the 8 Pro, I'm sure they make the 8T and the 8T Pro as well. So instead of doing all those options, why not give us two options? one with a smaller screen and one with a larger screen and release them everywhere in the world instead of doing this weird thing where they release the 8 Pro here in the US and they release the 8 in some other parts of the world and then when the 8T comes out, they flip it around so the 8T comes here and the 8T Pro goes other places. Like it's, it's such a weird thing to do. Instead, if they could just give us like two phones one with a smaller screen and one with a bigger screen that have the exact same specs, that would be great. Now this year, OnePlus is making a smaller phone actually. Not much smaller, I think it's like 6.4 inches, but it is technically a smaller phone. But the problem with that one is the fact that it's gonna have lower end specs. So instead of having the latest and greatest Snapdragon 865, it's probably gonna use a Snapdragon 700 series processor. Now I'm someone who doesn't really mind that at all. Like I think the 700 series processor is really good and it's gonna be much lower price, but I think that for people who want the latest and greatest specs, but just want it in a slightly smaller phone factor, OnePlus is just not offering anything. So this is the one thing that I think OnePlus really needs to copy from the iPhone and the Pixel lineup is just have two phones come out at the same time, except don't do this whole weird OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro thing. Instead, have a OnePlus 8 Pro and then have a OnePlus 8 Pro Max. Don't call it Max, but just call it something else where one is a smaller phone and one is a bigger phone, but just don't make the bigger phone like bigger, make the smaller phone smaller. That's all I'm asking for. Like give me a phone that is the size of like the Pixel 4 or like the size of the iPhone 11 Pro. Like that is, to me is a great size. And while it might be a bit of a niche product, I think people will definitely buy it. So yeah, I think that OnePlus, if they could just make a smaller phone, instead of making a smaller phone that's, you know, worse specs, I think it would be a great move for them, especially at this point where they don't really have that much to improve on. So there isn't any missing features with the OnePlus 8 Pro anymore. So if they could just make the same phone, just in a smaller version, I think it would actually do go a long way to help them out. So I'm hoping that with the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro, we'll get that next year, but yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. With that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.